You are probably using paragraph styles and character styles all the time. Now I'm going to introduce you to object styles. If your project has lots of images, sidebars, or anything that's made with the drawing or shape tools, you'll find object styles to be incredibly helpful. If you watch the video about using a library, you'll see now that object styles are just as useful, but in a slightly different way. A library stores assets that need to be exactly the same each time you use them. An object style allows you to make assets that vary in size or shape, but otherwise keep the same style, color, shadow, text wrap, or whatever. You can see that I have three objects on this page. I've set them up just the way I want them. The first one I'm going to use as a sidebar. It's a text frame. It has two columns with an inset, rounded corners and a shadow and text wrap at the top and bottom. The second one, I'm going to use every time I have an image. It's got a blue frame and a shadow and rounded corners. This third one, is a leader line. I'm going to use this whenever I have a diagram or an illustration that needs to have something pointed out. That would be over here and then down here I would typeset a label. So now what does this have to do with object styles? We're going to give each one an object style. First the sidebar. All we do is go to object styles, new object style, and all we have to do is name it. Sidebar, two columns, I'll call this. We can check to see the attributes. The fill is the right color. The corners are rounded. And we'll just click OK. And then we'll give the object the style. This one is my photo frame, so all I have to do is go new object style and name it photo frame and click OK and give it that style. The leader line I will do the same thing simply call it leader line with dot. OK. Now how do we use this? Let's try to use the photo frame. I will simply place an image and give it the style. There you can see it's got the blue frame and the shadow. Now with the sidebar, let's say we're working on our book and we suddenly realize we would like to have some of the sidebars only fit in one column and we want the type to be one column. So how will we do that? Let's make a text frame and select it and give it the sidebar two columns style. Now you see it has two columns. We don't want two, we want one. So we just go up to the control bar, change the number of columns to one, and make a new object style. Now see it's based on sidebar two columns, so everything is going to be the same except for the number of columns, which we will check right now. Sure enough, it has one column. We'll click OK, give it that style, and there's our sidebar one column style. We can use it any time. Now, if we want to change the color of the, all the sidebars in the book all of a sudden, and when we're halfway through the project, that is going to be very easy. We simply go to the sidebar two column style, double click on it and change the fill to some other color. Let's make them all blue. And you can see that every single sidebar in the book, whether it's one column or two, is going to change. How more useful could this be? It's very handy dandy. So I hope this encourages you to take advantage of object styles in your project. If you haven't watched the demonstration of InDesign libraries, I hope you'll learn about them too. There's no reason why you couldn't use both in the same project.